Hi everyone, it's your girl Saran. I want to thank you for finding your way to SaranSays.com. Today we are back with the 17 books we are reading, reviewing, and resourcing in 2017. And today we are talking about Lean In for Graduates by Sheryl Sandberg. So Lean In is really a feminist book that talks about the struggles that women face in the workplace and how we can overcome those struggles by changing our mentality and changing the way we move through the workplace. Sheryl Sandberg has a whole chapter and a whole intro about the history of sexism and how it's led its way into our everyday lives from the workplace to home and how we can really as as women individually and collectively overcome the challenge of living in a society and working in a workforce that is not designed for us to be leaders and succeeders. We see fear as a theme that kind of flows through all help, self-help, how to overcome books as something that is the major, right? Not just a major, but the major obstacle in us being able to achieve our goals and live the life we dream of living. So in the book, um, Sandberg specifically says that, you know, overcoming fear looks like taking action. So stepping up, doing the things that other people don't want to do, stepping up for leadership positions. If there's an opportunity on the table that intimidates you, she says, go for it. She also talks about being honest about what you want out of your work experience and out of your career and not letting other people's light or letting other people's opinions stop you from demanding what it is that you want. So that's a huge part also of not being afraid is being vocal and being able to say to yourself, looking in the mirror and saying, this is what I want. I want to be the CEO. I want to be the ED. I want to be in charge. I want to make more money, right? And not just, you know, thinking it, but speaking on it and, 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 offering up your opinions as it relates to where you want to go in the workplace. She also talks about gratitude um, and collaboration. She says that we have to stop looking at the workplace like a ladder and look at it more like a jungle gym where everyone is contributing to a system that helps everyone. She has two chapters in the book. One is called Making Your Partner a Real Partner. I think that's what it's called. Making your partner a real partner. Yes, make your partner a real partner and the myth of doing it all. And those two chapters talk about how if you're going to be married, you have to make sure that you give just as much of the load to your husband, to your partner, and not feel like you have to take everything on. Of course, women don't want to take everything on, but very often that's what we, they end up doing as a result of just the dynamics of a household. So she says, lean on your partner, lean on your significant other to help you to create an effective system so that you can be dedicated at work, you can be happy at work, you can be successful at work, and you don't have to feel like you're juggling between the two. She also says the myth of doing it all, the reality is you will be juggling between the two. She says that it doesn't matter how much a woman makes, how successful she is, how, how great of a mother she might be, you cannot do it all. No one has it all and no one is perfect. So she talks about how we have to give up this idea as women that we'll be able to perfectly balance our work lives and our home lives because there really isn't a way to perfectly balance it but to just give yourself permission as a woman to make mistakes and give yourself permission as a mother and a, a leader to to not have it all together, right? To try your best, but to also understand that there is no perfect formula for it all just coming into place all the time. My favorite chapter in the book is called Don't Leave Before You Leave. Initially, when I started the chapter, I thought it was going to be about just mentally staying at work and not checking out of work at three o'clock when you know you're not leaving until five or, you know, on your lunch break, dreaming of never going back to work and then having to go back, right? So I'm thinking, yeah, that makes perfect sense. To be a successful woman, to be successful, period, in the workplace, you have to be focused. You have to like your job. You can't leave your job before you leave. But that was not what the chapter was about at all. The chapter was about 
millennials specifically or young women us not thinking so much about marriage and motherhood while we're leaving college or while we're just getting into the workforce right so i love that this chapter specifically talks to women talks to you talks to me and says we don't have to be 23 24 and 25 with great opportunities in our hands with wonderful jobs thinking about how we'll be able to climb the social ladder when we want to get married at 30 or how we'll be able to get a raise when we have kids and we are falling asleep at work or whatever the case is she says do what you can do where you are and don't focus on what's ahead of you don't leave before you leave don't dream of being or don't envision yourself trying to balance motherhood and 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 work when you you don't have to balance those things right now you'll understand how it works for you and how things move along when that is what your life is when your reality requires that you find that balance. The thing that I love so much about Lean In for graduates or just Lean In period is that when I think of books in the, on the market, books out there in the world, it really speaks to women, right? So it specifically talks about most of the things that you'll face as a working woman and how to overcome them. And the, the, the book is so gender specific. I love that about the book. I think that it's not a book where it has a bunch of information and you kind of have to figure out, well, how does this apply to me? Sandberg specifically tells you how this book applies to you as a woman, if you are a woman, and how to overcome these things that really men don't have to worry about. And it's not about having more problems than men. It's not about having more on your plate than men. It's really just about you and who you are as a woman, as a beautiful, hardworking, bright, brilliant woman, how you can succeed in the workplace, how you can have both a professional, successful career and mentally and spiritually be at peace with yourself at home. So leaning in for graduates is about stepping up and not being afraid to take action. It's about loving yourself as a woman and understanding the challenges that come along with being a woman. It's about the reality of sexism and not ignoring it, not, you know, not just being ignorant to the fact that we as women will have to work in a different way in order to succeed in the workplace. It's really about supporting other women. It's about how to create communities of support with other women and how we can lift each other up. So I really did enjoy the feminist lens. I really enjoyed the fact that she's talking to older women and younger women, right? So no matter what stage of life you're in, if you are working, if you're in your 20s, if you're in your 50s, you can gain from Lean In for graduates. <laughs> um, so you can definitely find this book, like I said, I got mine at my local library. You can find it on Amazon, um, or I'm sure it's a very popular book. It was on the bestseller list. So wherever you look for books, you can find Lean In. I want to thank you all for watching this book review, and I will see you next time. Bye!